Hello everybody and welcome back to some Fiend Folia. We are jumping in once again and we played as the deleted last time. It was a very fun episode. I'm going to try and throw in the deleted every now and again. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we're doing back to back deleted. The, the game called for it. And I think this time we're going to go for what is probably a relatively easy run, but should be quite a fun one. We're going to go for the I Love You run, which is... um. Kind of an interesting one. Um, yeah, I love you. Red hearts only, corrupted items no longer have negative effects. So this one should be pretty insane. This one we should have a pretty darn good time with. Uh, red hearts only is the only bit that scares me a little. But other than that, everything's pretty good. Also, we did start with um, charm tears, which is kind of nice. I remember I was watching um, a Northern Lion video a few days ago. No, I, I don't know how long ago it was now. Ooh. See, I have to definitely take Suplex. Suplex is just too good and too fun. It's it's a bit of both. It allows to destroy rocks and it's a good way to kill stuff early game. Um, but yeah, I was watching a Northern Line video like the other day. Um, and I was watch actually watching the first episode he did on the Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Um, basically the, the first version after the... Um... Ooh, oh. I don't know how I didn't take any damage there, but it was the first version after the Flash version. Um, so I was watching that, and I remember he uh, he mentioned about um, getting Charm for the first time, because it was new to the series, and being like, oh my god, this is going to be so good, it's going to be like amazing. <laughs> I was just like, oh, NL, you fool. Char it's like, it's decent, but like he was acting as if it was going to be like real strong. <laughs> just found it really funny. Oh, we can't take soul hearts anymore, but soul hearts do convert to red hearts, which is really good knowledge. But yeah, I think early game with suplex is going to be really good. But yeah, that's a good question of the day. What, what was your first exposure to um, to the Binding of Isaac? What was your first experience? Are you a Flash player? Did you come in with re Rebirth? Did you come in with AB Plus? Did you watch a YouTuber play it? Did you get, only get involved with Repentance? I know there was a lot of new players that came in with Repentance. Like a lot, a lot. Ooh. I always hate the fact that Suplex does that. I mean, it's kind of fine because obviously Suplex is really good. I'm fine with it having some level of downside, but missing an enemy is, is just so frustrating. But yeah, Suplex is going to carry us hard. Nice. Black Art tends to... Okay, Red Heart and that. Uh, Mammoth Tooth... It's decent, but not great, so let's bit flip it. And remember as well, um, okay, that's not a very good one. Remember, we can we can bit flip back and it's not a problem with this guy because there's no negative effects. The I love you character is essentially just crazy fun. It's, it's nothing much else other than just getting wild. And it does look like, unfortunately, we might have a chance of not getting our planetarium here, which would be very upsetting. I'm, I, I'll just best, I'll have to say, I'll pop that in case it's, it's um, bombs our key, but otherwise it's not very useful to us. Uh, excuse me? Did I still take damage? No, I didn't. Okay. So we, this room has to drop us a key, otherwise we're in the shitter. And it didn't. We did get a glass D100, though, which is kind of interesting. Uh, yeah. Unfortunately, no planetarium for us. I guess we've got one chance left in our shop. We could potentially buy one. It's unlikely to go forward, but we could. So let's at least check it. Hey, Perfect. Perfect. Right, let's keep it going. We do start the ascension levels on as well. Again, it's, it's a mod that I don't know if I'm going to keep on for the long haul, but at the minute I quite like it. Um, and we get Ceres. Um, I think we just take that as is. It's really good. Ceres uh, basically gives us the ability to upgrade things as they drop, which will be good for red hearts, as you can see right there. Stuff like that. And it's also going to provide us with... Um, Holy mantles every now and again when we get hit. So I really do like it quite a lot. Anyways, let's keep going. I know we haven't corrupted anything yet, but that that comes with that comes with time. I should really be corrupting items regardless and checking what the corrupted versions are, considering there's no downsides. Okay, let's uh let's let's wait for suplex here. <laughs> Boom. Beautiful. <laughs> and that got upgraded. Get a bunch more uh, little fellas. I love the fact that we have unique um, 
mini Isaacs for all the deleted versions. That's really good. No slam for you. I'm the one slamming this time. I'm the one slamming you down this time. But yeah, back-to-back -back deleted runs is just a lot of fun, isn't it? Oh, hello. You guys, neither of you died. Wasn't expecting that, but I guess we'll take it. We want to be getting as many consumables as we possibly can because they're all going to get upgraded. Good, good. And Suplex is just doing such good work right now. I'd like to get a bunch of red hearts this floor to try and make a... Um, try and make a, a sacrifice room work, but I don't know how viable that's going to end up being. We've got Lucky Call here, but in my experience, Lucky Call does almost nothing. It doesn't seem to increase the drop rate of fires at all. So we'll see. But um, in, yeah, in my personal experience, it doesn't have a, a great track record of actually doing anything. So we've, so far, we've got one coin. And as you can see, it has done exactly nothing to help us. Uh, we got Baby Baby. This is the first one that I'm definitely willing to bit flip on. Every 60 seconds, 10% chance to spawn 7 pickups, spawn 4 cards. Each room, 3% chance to use whatever that is. Let's go for it. Um, Soul of Azazel, Moon Card, Unknown, Justice. Justice. I think we pop the Moon Card here as well. These don't actually matter to us because we can't take them. Oh, I suppose they would give us red hearts, but still. Actually, um, they're not actually that hard to get to, to be honest. There's some red hearts at least. I was hoping for more than that for a sack room, but hey her. It's not like the last floor we get a ton of them. It's not how the goat floats this time around. Ow. I lost my devil deal. I'm not too miffed about that. It's not ideal, but it's not a terrible, terrible uh, problem. But yeah, I think I think my first experience with the Binding of Isaac, it's it's kind of weird. I've, I've, I've slightly explained this before in videos, but it's been a while. I had a very weird experience with my introduction to the Binding of Isaac. So initially, initially my friend told me about it and explained it as a, as a really fun game that he'd been playing. And I was like, okay, sounds kind of cool, sounds kind of cool. And then I kind of forgot about it for a little bit. And then he mentioned it again, and I was like, okay, cool, I'm gonna actually look into this game. And I don't know why, but for some very bizarre reason, I got uh, The Binding of Isaac confused with Thomas is Alone, or Thomas was Alone, whatever that I, whatever that game's called. I can't remember the exact name of it now. I don't know why I just took that. That is not what I meant to do. I just kind of walked right into it. Um, right. Let's go get the um, Soul of Azazel back. I'm fine for the D100, to be honest. Soul of Azazel will do me. Um, yeah, and I, I don't know why, which is, it's like a puzzle game about playing as different shapes. Uh, and for some reason, I got those confused. So I, I found it on Steam and was like, nah, it's not for me. It's not for me. Um, and then forgot about it for a while. And then uh, probably around six months or so after that. Um, I don't know how long it was after. But probably about six months or so after that. Um, the fuck just happened? I was at full red hearts, and I accidentally missed my suplex and died. Okay. Anyways, we restart. That was very odd. Oh, this guy just starts with charm tears anyways. I thought that was from having, um, what's it called? I thought it was from having an Eden's Blessing. Okay. Uh, every 60 seconds, 30% chance to get a temp. Uh, yeah, let's, get, let's grab that. Yeah, that, that, that was weird. I don't know what happened there. But yeah, anyway, so then about six months after that, I think it was, um, Ned Cubed uploaded a video on The Binding of Isaac. Just a, a, like a, a normal video of him playing a run. And I was like, oh, this is not the game I thought it was at all. Because I was like, the thumbnail looks very different to what I understand Binding of Isaac to be. Um, and yeah, I was like, okay. It's very, very different to what I initially assumed. Okay. Ooh, that was close. 
Um, so I ended up thinking, oh shit, I, I really should give this game a go. So the first thing I did, my lord, the skill issue is heavy today. It's heavy. I don't like the skill issues that we're having right now. Um, but the first thing that I did was I was like, okay, let's go watch some more of this game on YouTube. And of course I found Northern Lion. And then I basically committed to watching Northern Lion every single day for quite literally two years before I even picked up the game. Um, I watched like multiple episodes of Northern Lion every single day. I think when he when I first found him, he was around seven or eight hundred episodes into Rebirth. I managed to catch up with that um, by watching like two to three episodes a day um, for a long time. Um, over the course of about a year, and then like obviously watched his new series, and yeah, I, I think I I think I started playing when Afterbirth came out. I think I can't I can't remember if I played Rebirth. I think I played Rebirth, but I, I I'm I'm also not sure. We'll definitely just take Polly. No question about that. <laughs> HP up is really good for us here. But yeah, I'm not a hundred percent sure if I actually played Rebirth or not. But I. I definitely think I bought it on Afterbirth. Not Afterbirth Plus, but normal Afterbirth. I'm liking Polly here. It's very good. I can't believe I was like, this character will be so easy. And so far I've died twice and I got hit there. Lovely. I'm a fool. Okay, not bad. That definitely a bit flip of a light um. Um Decent. Each room 90% chance to get that golem trinket, which I think will give us a luck upgrade, so we're probably gonna get a lot of luck here. Because it's like a 90% chance every room. So yeah, look, we got we got a uh, plus four luck there. I think it's every time we get hit, we lose a bit of luck. But if we're stacking it up every room, then... I think it was every room. Maybe it was just on ne on next floor travel. Might have been... Just oh, no, no. We're get. Okay. We're getting a lot of them, but it's not stacking. Okay, that's fine. We are, we are getting one every room. I can see it um, on the right there. It's just not actually giving us more stats. Use me? Thanks, game. That was a bit rude. I've never been so offended in my life. What mod is that room from? If Fiendfolia did this to me, I'm going to cry. Fiendfolia, you... You bitches. Why would you do this to us? Evil. Who asked for more no-item item rooms? Who was out there demanding this? Oh my lord, I, I just can't play today. I mean, to be fair, I, I have to feel like the suplex death just was not my fault at all. I don't know if that was a bug or something to do with one of the effects that I took. But I didn't take any negative effects, I don't see how. I just suplexed into a wall and immediately died. I don't see how that can be uh, attributed to my fault. That's not how suplex works, right? If you suplex a wall, you don't take damage normally. Not that I know of, at least. I feel like I cannot be held accountable for that. Okay, this guy's an absolute pain. I think he's one of the hardest first floor bosses. We do have good damage though, so it shouldn't be too hard. It shouldn't be too bad. I mean, we're killing him pretty fast here, as you, as you can see. Okay, good. Taken care of. Chocolate bar. On 34 kills, 25% times to use pill now. We're just going to take that as is. We need the health. Let's keep it going. But yes, I do like myself some deleted runs here. Very, very good. Very, very nice. Ooh, that's a good room for us. I like the fact that we have one of them as a trinket. And the rest of them we have smelted. Of these um, look upgrades. Ooh, that guy dropped a hell of a lot of money. Wow. Was not expecting that amount. What do these sack boys do again? I don't remember. Oh, you dropped keys. That's certainly good. 
check what item we get here. Iron bar. Or every 16 minutes. Every 16 minutes isn't really worth our time, is it? I'll be honest. That's like going to be most of the run. I'd rather just have the damage right now. Don't eat too many coins, my dude. You're going to get fat. Was it worth it? This looks secret ruby to me. It's not. I just love the fact that our inventory is now absolutely full of these luck upgrade things. Okay, a nice bit of charm killing that guy. But yeah, I ended up watching Northern Lion for a really long time. I still do watch him on occasion. He stopped doing um, each room, get that until hit. Each room, 10% chance to get one mini Isaac. I'll take that, yeah. Um, he doesn't do any uh, Binding Isaac anymore, or at least much anymore. Um, because to be fair, he played it like non-stop every single day for like 10 years. <laughs> so <laughs> I'll forgive him on that one. Um, but like while he was in his prime of like rebirth and repentance and stuff, I watched him a lot. One second. I think I'm coming down with a bit of a cold. I'm sneezing a bit. Lovely. Lovely stuff. It is what it is, but yeah. So we're going to get um, damage ups every now and again. It, it, it did say until we get hit. So we're not going to keep them forever. But they are going to go for a decent amount of time. Oh god, we got like an eye in the middle and then two eyes either side. It looks just horrifying. Oh, what the fuck? I proper p anticipated that guy jumping and he just stalled. He just didn't jump. And I lost my angel deal, devil deal, again. Ow. Push me over the spikes, why don't you? Oh, this fucking boss. This boss is just... I don't even know. I... I this is probably my least favourite Fiend Folio boss. I just think it's an absolute, like design wise, it, it looks pretty cool, but I just think it's an absolute mess. <laughs> oh, bandage is pretty good. Yes, I'll take that. We didn't get a piece of cheese, what the hell? We're supposed to get a piece of cheese. Okay. Good, good. I'm hoping to just keep stacking this damage. We've got good damage right now. We can just keep stacking this. We should get to the point where we can one-shot a lot of stuff. Ooh, you guys are a bit, a little bit laggy, aren't you? Tinted rock here as well. Probably won't matter too much for us, but it'll give us a red heart at least. There you go. Gives you multiple as well. I wonder if uh, having multiple of these um, fear shots increases the chance of fear shot. I'm not actually sure about that. Good. We're, 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 do, we're making pretty pretty decent progress here. I love that. When these enemies are charmed, they just like careen themselves into an enemy and kill themselves. Oh no. I lost all my damage. Oh, 13 damage for being hit there. That's rough. Goddamn, getting hit is, is quite costly for us. We do get one of those every room, so it stacks back up reasonably quickly. But it is quite costly for us to get hit right now. Really hope we actually get an item in our item room for this floor. I can't remember if it was that last floor or the floor before that, that happened. Dude, these fucking spiders! God damn. Fuck, the worst designed enemy ever. 
jump across the entire room and hit you. It's bullshit. Also, what is it with these purple fires? God damn. Getting wrecked by them. Leave me be. I'm just chilling. Well, this is a pretty somber run so far. Nothing crazy is happening. Also, can we fear and charm an enemy at the same time? I've never experienced that, I don't think. I don't think it's possible. It needs to be one or the other. But we have got a good amount of status effects going right now. We've got the ability to concuss. We've got the ability to fear. And we've got the ability to charm. Honestly, just, just give up on the fact that we're ever going to get a devil deal. It's not happening. I don't know what those double items I just got there are. I'm really not sure. Let me check out the shop. Ooh. I would very much like this. I'd very much like that if I can manage it. I don't know if we're going to have a, a way of getting that. Notched Axe is a good one to just pick up. I realise I should have checked it's uh, tainted, uh, corrupted version, sorry. But honestly, I think it's worth just taking. Okay, find me some money. First of all, I need to find Secret Room, which I'm not entirely sure where that is. Just checking this room for second. Okay. Could be right here. Nope. Hmm. Not entirely sure with Secret Room this time around. Not entirely sure. Little Healy dude. Can't do much when you've got no friends. Okay, so far, zero idea where we're looking for this. Okay, we killed a mushroom in a single hit there. That's pretty that's pretty good going. Damn, where the hell is secret room? Okay, this should kill you reasonably fast. Just remember this guy bounces around like crazy when he dies. And then we've also got the little boingy boingy things to worry about too. Yeah, every time they hit each other, they bounce off each other. Oh, you bastard. You absolute dick. Use Wheel of, For uh, use Wheel of Fortune reverse. 4% chance to spawn on bombs. Each error room. That doesn't really make much difference to us. I'm going to try it anyways, though. Excuse me? Oh, balls. It used the reverse thingy and it re-rolled re my poly. You Fucker. You little shit. <laughs> I was like, what the hell just happened? Speed. You little fucker. And it got rid of my goddamn notched axe as well. It's bullshit. <laughs> yeah, I did not think about that at all. Right. Get in here. Get you sleeping. Okay, hopefully the items here will make up for it. 1% chance. Oh, that is fantastic. Now let's just take the seven random pills. Overall, I think that was pretty decent. I think we got a full health and a health up. Yeah, we're, our character's looking kind of wacky right now. Still got the fear shot going on, which I like. Kill the little nubbins here. Try and use our space bar as much as we can. Because it basically, it's going to slow down the enemies, but also it's going to make, make the other one sleep and we deal double damage on the first hit. So it's going to keep us a little more safe because we can essentially manage the other enemies in the room while the ones that are sleeping are still sleeping sort of thing. Ooh, this is a hard room right here. So, um, 
Okay, these guys jump over, I see. Lots of spiders. Okay, come on now, pop up. This guy we just gotta wait for. Okay, there he goes, coming out the center one. Little bit of a tedious room, but not too bad. Ow. I've revealed a secret room via getting hit there. I don't really know how. I'll accept it. Oh, God. Can I remember if the black skulls you have to kill to end the room? I think you do, don't you? I'm still weirdly missing a frame of animation as well. There you go. Sorted. Um... You have an unknown... Oh, this is this is orphan socks, isn't it? I'm just going to take it and see what happens. Whatever it is, it can't be that bad. No negative effects, so... It's just some unknown craziness that's going to happen. It gave us a bunch of sacks on pickup, but that's about it. Right. Celtic Cross definitely glitched that one out as well. Yeah, this is going to be very crazy to us because we just have no idea what effects we're getting. It's probably going to lead to our demise somehow. I don't know, I like the idea of it regardless. Good. Whoa, what the hell? Destroyed like all the walls. Thank you. I will accept your wall destroying abilities. Oh, for God's sake. One th one thing I really don't like in room design in general, and it's not really a it's not really a problem with the Fiend Folio developers, because the, the vanilla game does it plenty as well, is when they get like little nubbins and put them in all four corners of a massive room, it's like oh, you're just making it tedious for, for tedious' sake. There's no reason to do it, it's just to make the room longer. Annoying. Oh, damn, I don't know how I managed to dodge all that then. Kind of lucky. Do have our fear shots going, which is nice. Probably a good room to use this. Oh, God. Ow. Lost 7.46. 4 3 damage. God damn it. Um, shop is probably a good idea. This doesn't matter, but we'll take it. Ah, shit. Got a kingpin one over here. This guy's in a terrible spot for us. Just stand right in front of him and hope he doesn't hit us, I guess. Ow, you fucker. So we definitely have some, like, on-hit, use, dad's key sort of thing going on. Oh my god, these little farting bitches keep knocking me into the bloody spikes. Stop it! Fuck. Okay. Remove this. We have a, a bunch of charmed pipes again following us. We got mapping out of something. I don't know where we got mapping from. Bunch of rotten hearts here. Probably not the best for us. Oh god, the slippies are getting me. Okay, we... Oh, no way we got it again. Let's just not die, and then we'll be okay. So we got this thing again. But gulps automatically. And then gulps everything we pick up. Remove it now. Aura has a 50% chance to gulp everything we pick up at least. Beautiful. Hello, sir. 
Right, so I don't know what triggered us to get all those trinkets then. But that's going to be fun. Let's try and play to the strengths of that. And have another very heavily trinket based run. Which is uh, strange that, that it's happened again. But hey ho. Oh, we got this guy. Don't really understand this guy very well. Like, what the hell are you doing right now, sir? I have no idea. Her attacks confuse the hell out of me. I just want you to be dead. How am I getting hit so much? Oh my god, you threw your car at me. What the hell? Dude, this boss is some fat BS. Calm down. Rufus. I love bacon. Right, I'm going back to get all this health. Right, let's go. Try and not get hit too much. We got some okay stuff going on though. We got a uh, pretty great all stats up. And uh, something or other, pretty fly. I... This is confusing. Each room we enter is giving us a uh, positive effects. I wonder when that's going to turn negative, but we'll see. We've got Brain Worm here, which is helpful. I love that. That's such a cool effect. Thank God it didn't gulp Ring Worm then. <laughs> okay, then things can lob bombs, so I want to take those out first. And then these guys. A little bit hard to hit the brain more on a cardinal direction with it, but there you go. So no trinkets so far. But right now we have no idea what triggers the trinkets. Which is kind of scary. Right, keep going. Whoa. Eyeball dude. It's bouncing around everywhere. I love the snow globe. It's so fun. It's actually really useful as well. I just kind of pop it whenever we enter a room at this point. Brain worm is super helpful for enemies like this. Got another one over here, don't we? Yep, there you go. It can, like, the fact that it can move locks out the way is so good. Come on now, guys. Just die. There's a bunch of trinkets. Here we go. Keep her going. Okay, can't move these guys out the way. I was seeing if it could jump the big blocks. It cannot. Okay, good. I can't believe we got another one of these runs. It's just kind of crazy. Just kind of mental. Maybe it's whenever we enter a special room. Ooh, we got Fiendfolio Mum. I think this is my first time fighting Fiendfolio Mum, you know. The first time that I can remember. Just remember the feet drop fires. We need to give quite a lot of leeway to the feet. But yeah, it's only Fiendfolio enemies and fires. And a few other bits and bobs. We got her. We did get a devil deal here as well. 
Polaroid, I think, is best. Damn. Nah, I think we're good. Right, down we go. So we're not going to get as many trinkets as we got last time, but still a good amount. Still a very good amount. Still getting our damage ups. I love that. It's just so visually satisfying. Okay. Like, rooms like this look where it's just like a bunch of useless enemies in the corner. It's like, ugh. Did you have to? Normally you just kill everything in the center and then have to walk around and kill them. It's not like they're there to make the room take longer so that so you have to deal with the other enemies for longer or anything like that. Okay, so here's some more trinkets. None of these are gulping though. Not a single one of those gulps. Surprising. Oh, rainbow chest. First time I've seen one of these in a while. And it actually works with Fiendfolio. It drops these chests too. Nice. Haunted Rose. Get Libra. Hell no. I'm just going to take the Haunted Rose. Why did you have to hit me? I just lost 11 damage because you hit me. Fit. Fit. We'll take it. Fucking spiders, bugger off. Um, it's not what I meant to do. Each room, 23% chance to spawn a double key. Spawn five old chests. Yeah, sounds good to me. Right, more trinkets here. Go up one of them. Nun's habit. Yeah, we'll take that. Why not? Okay, things are getting a bit wacky. Things are getting a bit weird. Rainbow chest did its thing. We've revealed some of the map so far, but not all of it. I think we've got like the cracked orb effect, maybe. I was just about to say, thank God, I did not want that to gulp. That would be a pain in the ass. Pretty fly here as well. Don't really know where some of these are coming from, but I'll take them. No delayed jumping now, you, you shit. Go, lucky. Ah! Where are you? You're a shithead. I hate those enemies. Okay. Keep going. I'm a little worried about my health right now. It's not great. Especially when that happens. What the hell is this enemy? Okay, some interesting stuff going on here. I think moving all the rocks around is helping. Oh, God. Hello. I'm excited, Zon. We have 66 luck right now. Alrighty then, game. If you say so. Okay, thank god he's gone. Yeah, no, we'll just take that as is. Down we go. Health is still looking pretty bad, but I don't want to backtrack, so. More pretty flies. We got spurred here because we got three of these. Okay, more trinkets. I love it when it just gulps every single one of them. 
It's like as a quarter pair of room, I get a bunch of gulps in a row, and it's like, no. Just you now, little fella. Little really poorly. Give me some red hearts game. That'd be mighty nice of you. Some of these enemies I don't quite understand. Yeah, where the hell's the red hearts at? Loving the 3D glasses, even though we got rid of Polly for them. Still loving them. We use paralysis on picking up a coin there. Okay, so I think we just have the ability to use pills on picking up coins here. It's kind of an interesting concept. It could be useful. We didn't get any good pills there, but it could have been useful. I'm gonna play it safe and remove some rocks here to make it easier to traverse back if we need to. <gasps> Half a red heart. Hell yes, that's made literally no difference to our run, thank you. They yeah, weren't really unlucky with their uh, heart drops. Can't play that. Th this should give us some. Oh no. What, what even hit me there? Okay. Arcade should be able to give us some HP. Or not. Not a single red heart there. Tears down? What the hell? Okay, that wasn't great. Have we got poker chip in here somewhere? I think we do. Oh god, these enemies are a bit scary. But when they're charmed, they're not so bad. Explosive. Couldn't have happened in the boss room, could it? Ooh. I do not like the laser eyes being at the other side of the thing here, because we can't really get to that. Oh god. I didn't really realize what was happening for a second there. Sadly, Kev Horn did not smelt, which was pretty obvious that it wasn't going to, to be honest, because that's the way the world works. But I guess we just take Kev Horn. Wait, 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 wait. Where's Kev Horn? Where is Kev Horn? It's gone. <laughs> we had Kev Horn for a hot moment. It's now gone. Great stuff. Also, Lucky Toe is. Unable to be picked up here. I don't know what happened to Kev Torn there. It just kind of disappeared. Fantastic. We got spurred back again. We got some health out of something. Don't really know what, but we got some. Oh, fuck me. Those things jump on your head. I did not know that. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, it's stressful. Gulp, gulp. Gulp, gulp. See, we could have gulped up. We could have gulped up something beautiful. But the game was like, no. No care torn for you. Okay. I have to think about what we need in this run. We need to send away from all of these enemies that have Herming. I'll tell you that for sure. What the hell's going on with all these guys? Ow! Where did that come from? Chariot card is a must. I don't even know where that guy came from. I can't remember what these guys do. Okay. They just spew. Whoa, big head boy. And they spawn a bunch of... Weird stuff. Spawns light beams. Not too bad, to be honest. 3D glasses 
It's just so insanely good. The way it can just insta-kill any enemy. It does it pretty damn regularly too. Can you die? Thank you. You're getting on my nerves. And you. Okay, we're at full health. It's it's a miracle. It's been a long time since we've seen full HP. I can't believe it. And of course I went the wrong way again. Damn it. I don't know where the hell I'm going now. I think I'm going down after the secret room. Good. Bunch more trinkets here. We did accidentally run into the mini boss, which I don't like. Especially spawning ghosty boys on me. Really, copper bombs? You're both gonna fail. Okay, good. You're dead. No angel deal. Come on, smell at least one of these. Oh, didn't smell any of the good ones. Okay, I smelt less penny at least. That's good. Whoa, what the hell hit me then? Something's going on right now and I don't know what. Uh, excuse me? This is not the room we were in before, right? Oh, Kess the Maze has buggered me. No, I, w I wanted to go back and get the health. I, th that may have, that may well have killed me. Right, don't do that again. Now I have to go back through this room. Right, don't do that again. I need this room. There's health in here. Thank you. <laughs> Bloody annoying. Don't need any of the money or anything like that. Okay, luckily we've got the biggest enemy first, and he just killed everything else for us. And we've got mapping now as well. I didn't even pay attention to these eyes, like, at all then. Okay. We're golden now, I think. Did you just monstrous lung attack me? What the hell? That's bizarre seeing that come from you. We do have a chariot card in case we need it. Don't like you doing that, sir. Keep losing all of our damage right before bosses. It's very annoying. I think this is going to be a fairly slow fight. In fact, it's going to be a very, very slow fight. Give me my golden bombs back. This is going to be a really excruciatingly long fight, isn't it? We lost all of our damage right before the fight. Just hoping we can plant enough ghost bombs down to do a good enough job. Having these two charmed and shooting at him is also nice. Yeah, this isn't taking as long as I thought. The charmed dudes are helping a lot. Damn it, you missed that bomb. Whoa, that was weird. He changed the direction of his light beams there. I've never seen that before. Or maybe it was just these little dudes doing light beams. I don't know. God, oh, come on now. Another phase, really? Yeah, it's those little dudes doing light beams, I see. Okay, nice. That wasn't so bad. Right. Actually, some items to corrupt. We haven't corrupted any items in a while. Another pretty fly. Spurred again. Didn't mean to do that. That's useless for us, so we'll just take this. Use double damage, please. Yes. <laughs> um, each room 2% chance, uh, tears up, yep. And yep. 
We'll see how this goes. There's another one you used, right? Oh, God. Yeah, there is. Okay. Right, I'm hoping I get a lot of items here. I have a feeling that's not going to be the case. Ooh, I do not... I do not, 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 not like this room. What, what? What the fuck am I supposed to be doing here? This is another fucking... This is like the most extreme case of this room I was just talking about. We have to go to all the corners of the room. Don't like these rooms. I can finally kill the only enemy in here. If I can find him. Hello. Fuck that room. Bunch of trinkets. Okay. Don't have any bombs left, sadly. Lost some damage there. Um, game? What the fuck? Ah! I'm being, like, dragged around. What the hell's this? Oh, God. I've lost a lot of health in this room. What the hell happened? What's this little grabber hand doing? Don't like the idea of that. Those little grabber hands do... Is that, the, what, is that what dragged me around? Did I take an item that's going to start dragging me around the room? I think I did. Bullshit. How, why aren't these dudes dying? Maybe it's because I have very, very low damage right now. First time I get a chest, no items. Great. Holy, what, where did Tech Alpha come from? What, what just happened here? Oh, did we use, um, Soul of Ezel? Soul of Jacob, whatever it's called. I don't know. Okay. Apparently I can't pick up any more hearts, regardless of the fact that I actually have space, but there you go. Ah, uh, we only got that dude for a single room, though. It's not good enough. Still not a single item spawned so far, which is a shame considering I took Damocles for, for precisely that reason, but... Hey her, ooh, copper bomb doing its thing, not not detonating when I really need it to. I am actually baffled by the lack of items right now, this is very annoying. Ow. Pop your head up, fool. Okay, we've got the boss now. Didn't get a single item on the way to the boss. What a shame. Right, blue baby. You are maybe going down, or I am. One of us is definitely going down. I think I do have a few revives in my pocket, I think. I'm not 100% sure on that, I'll be honest. Were they my troll bombs? I I don't know where they came from. The ghost seems to be doing a very good job. Oh, God. Well, we just about made it. I don't know how. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'll see you guys in the next one.